Pop tree, if you read the title, then you probably know what's going on. We are going to install a drum, band, pump, and get this thing pretty much almost ready for the car. So, stay tuned. Okay, next step is to take this. This is part three. If you ain't seen the other parts of this video, you can go look them up on my channel. Part one, part two, part three. You want to check your bell in. It's good. We need to wipe this clean, though. I will give a rag and stuff to Tony so he can wipe it clean. And try to keep this as clean as possible. Yeah. We're done building it on the ground, so. Well, we ain't building it on the ground. We're building it on the bed sheet, but still. If you don't know what happened to this transmission, the wheel planetary exploded. I do believe it was from the wrong C clip on that shaft. I believe it was too. Yeah. It had too much slack in it. Tony, you can go ahead and install it if you want to. Okay. It just drops Drop down. down in there. Like so. Make sure it's in there good. Next comes the drum. Which is, oh, it's a big heavy son of a gun. Right here. Mm -hmm. This is your drum. Now. Everything looks good on it. I actually might check the crutches in this. Let us check the crutches and then we'll get back to you. Take it back. We check crutches. They look brand new as this transmission didn't have close to 500 miles on it. I guess they didn't lie. Next thing you want to do is take your drum. Set it down in like so. Ain't nothing fancy about it. It just goes in like so. Now, there's a washer underneath of this. A little shim. Make sure your shim goes on before it's bearing on this shaft. Now you want to jiggle it so it drops down it works. Fire twister. I know I hang all the way down. Let me uh, set this camel down so I can keep twisting it. But basically you get the idea to well Tony try. I'll hold this. Yeah, hold this. Got it? Yeah, let me just put the camera down and put it. You can see once your pop, uh, pump sets in, you can pick up on it. And just move it a little bit and just keep shaking it until it sets down. And you can feel it tighter it gets. It, this one's pretty much set down. You can about judge it. But it's set down. You want to make sure it's seated all the way. You do not want to install this and hit not seated the way it's supposed to be. So, always make sure this is properly seated. Next step. Oh. Anyhow, once you get this set down, you can pick up, like I said, a little bit on it. If it makes a thud, it's good to go. Um, that drum does the same thing. Got set down here. The clutch has got spline onto this. And you gotta wiggle it and work with it on that part. I gotta use both hands, so I gotta set the camera down. So stay tuned. This is what your input drum will look back like before we installed. You can look down here and make sure it is seated. Right then in that crack, it's very close, as you can see. And it works great. You can shake it like this. And you can get it to drop down. It works the clutches very easy. Now, once we got that, next is the band. This is your band. You can tell this one's pretty much brand new. I got another used band. Hold on one minute. It's right here. And this band is in pretty good shape too. I think this band's never been used, but just been setting. But it has a little, little bit of damage, so we ain't gonna use it. But they do make wide bands and different kinds of bands depending on what you're working at. Now, what I'm going to tell you right now is here's your servo. It goes up against your van. Uh, band. Quit saying van, James. And what it does is your little thing under your valve body that pushes up against the band. You will have this valve body off most likely, so you won't have this problem. But we are going to try to install this band now without removing any of that. Ooh, joys. So, I can't film and do it, so wish us luck, and I'll stop back recording since we get it in there. If not, you see us taking the valve body off.
or the freight uh, servo. Hey guys, we got the band on, the servo's back in, everything's lined up. Now, it's time to install your pump. First thing you want to do is get your pump gasket. Punch is right here. This is our pump gasket. And they pretty much don't go on one way, so you want to make sure you put them on right. Don't want to get the wrong one. I gotta thank all my buddies for the help. Because without them, we wouldn't have this nice gasket. Now, as we set this here, I'm gonna get some Vaseline. There you go. And put on a few little spots to help hold the gasket. So I'll be right back. Gasket in place, check and make sure all the lines are lined up like it's supposed to be. As you can see, all these look like they are supposed to. So, we are good. Now, you, if you got your old gasket, you can go by here and make sure it all looks the same. As you can see, this gasket pretty much universal. Here's the old gasket on top of the new one. It's identical, just a little bit simpler design. So, next thing is to install your pump. If you got any size of tool you want to, these should be fine. They've been on the pump, they ain't been off long. They should go right back on. Not tell you, check your Teflon seals. Check your Teflon on this pump too. I gotta use both hands. And then I'll get a video of us with the pump on. Hey guys, it was getting late. And I don't know if y'all can see it. But we got the, all the bolts torqued on the pump. We uh, completely went through this and replaced everything. And never removed the valve body. We didn't replace everything. We went through it checked everything. Basically, that shows you can do that without even having to drop your valve body. Now, check your torque specs and get your pump torqued down to the right place. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. And more transmission builds and all that good stuff. Because we've got another $700 we're getting ready to build. So, take care.